Afternoon, I'm Chris Raggy now on CBS 2 and streaming on CBS News New York. Let's begin with the discovery of dozens of migrants found living in a Queens basement after an FDNY inspection. CBS 2's Jennifer Bizram live in Richmond Hill where she talked with a man who says he was helping them. Jennifer. Hi, Chris. So just want to give you an idea of where we are right now. This is, you can see this area blocked off at the moment, but this is where those migrants were staying in the lower level of this building. It's actually a furniture store on Liberty Avenue, and this is the back of the building on 103rd Avenue. Now, officials are here, and they have been allowing migrants to go back in to get their belongings. The owner of the furniture store tells us he is the one who has been facilitating this. He's the one who he says, has been helping these migrants because the city has not been helping them. He says over 70 people were living down there, some giving up to $300 a month. Cell phone video obtained by CBS2 shows a Queens basement filled with cots and migrants. They say there's no places to put the people. I've been going around the city and saw all these buildings that they built. And giving it to the city, I've talked to landlords, people who are saying that these buildings is for the city. And the city is saying that they don't have no place for these people. It's not true. The owner of this furniture store in tears, okay. saying he wanted to help his fellow Africans because the city wasn't. The guys will, they will be sleeping on the streets for days. So when they started coming to me, telling me their stories, I started helping them. Since they're not giving them places to stay, we will do this ourselves. In the back of the building, a slew of police officers and investigators with the Department of Buildings Tuesday afternoon and dozens of e-bikes. There is no cooking, okay? Uh, we'll bring food, no cooking here. When you come, I'll make you sign an agreement that this is the rules here. You can do this over here because we don't want problems. According to the Department of Buildings, inspectors were called to the two-story mixed-use building on 132nd Street and Liberty Avenue Monday night after reports of an illegal conversion. Down in the cellar, they found illegally converted sleeping quarters with 14 bunk beds and 13 beds with inadequate plumbing and ventilation. A vacate order was issued. We have an obligation with DOB, FDNY, and all of our services to respond and take necessary action. That's what was done uh, last tonight, and we're still looking at exactly uh, what took place. And that was the mayor responding just a short time ago. He did also say that there will be people here in New York that will take advantage of the system. It's still being investigated. There's a big investigation happening here right now. And there's still lots of questions unanswered this noon. It's still unclear where those migrants who are living here will go. And it's still unclear what will happen to that furniture store owner who was helping these migrants. We'll have much more for you this afternoon. We're live in Richmond Hill, Queens. Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jennifer. Very interesting. We'll continue to follow the breaking details on this one throughout the day. Jennifer will stay on the scene. Look for her update streaming on CBS News New York and later today on CBS News at 5 o'clock.